What is happening? What is going on, you bunch of absolute legends? What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to create this pretty cool. Let me just delete this camera ball kind of animation. Like you'll see, uh, like it's one ball brings like all the balls into together. It's pretty easy to do, but I'll show you how to do it. So, what I'm going to do is let's go to top view. So, like this. And so we go yeah to top view. And then I'm going to go shift a mesh and we're going to get an icosphere. What you want to do is go here. We just want to smooth it out. So, and right click shade smooth. Then what you want to do is with the selected, go here to particles. So there, well, not particles, sorry, physics and create a rigid body. So click there and then change it on the top from active, make it passive. Then what you want to do is zoom out and go shift d to copy the sphere click that there g bring this one to about here and then what you want to do is just make it a little bit smaller so s scale it down just to something like that and then this one you're going to change from passive you're going to make this one active so click there and then yeah change this to sphere then what you want to do is go shift a and add a force so look for force field and click there and then what you want to do is bring the strength down to about negative 700. And then what you want to do is you can click here and bring your timeline up. And if I hit play, brings this ball in. So this is what you want. This is so far what you want. And then what you want to do is you want to take this sphere and copy it. So shift D, duplicate it to somewhere like this resize it so s scale it up somewhere like that same thing there shift d duplicate it s scale it a bit smaller something like that same thing s d s scale it up same thing with shift d it's somewhere like that and shift d somewhere like that s scale this one up get a little bit smaller you want to be too big and then once you've got these, just click on this, shift D, duplicate it, shift D, shift D, you want to get quite a lot, shift D, shift D, and then one more, shift D. And now when you hit play, it's really, really that easy. So you can see, create something like this, then what you could do, is hit play something like that and you could create an animation like this and then you what you could do is go shift a get a mesh get a plane s scale it up to about there go to x g bring it down go back to z get a camera shift a mesh camera control alt zero it locks the camera in let's stick on our camera and let's zoom in to somewhere like this and i'm just going to change my perspective because i'm going to use this as a thumbnail as well and it's something like that and we click there this is what it looks like if you hit play it looks like that then you can throw in a material on your plane so i'm just going to click there and I'm just going to go with a basic boom, boom, throw on a plastic. And the same thing with our balls. If I click there, you can then throw the material on there. So I could add a, like that, and that throws the material on like those. And you can put them on whatever you want. You know, you could add them. What I would suggest is just to add your material. So I'm just going to hide my plane. And we can do that so you can then add the material onto your object like that without having to do it one by one so you can see there there we go and it's really that easy you can see there if i hit play create something like this and i think it looks pretty cool so yeah hopefully you enjoy the video hopefully you got something out of the video hopefully 
yeah hopefully this was cool for you to watch hopefully you learned something like i said make sure you check out blender kids link in the description and feel free to check out my patreon i would really appreciate that but otherwise hopefully you have a great day and or an evening whenever you're watching this video and i'll see you in the next video peace